Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. Mr. Going. I know y'all was thinking about getting, getting this win and the game. This is the game where the coach is starting to talk to me. They used to have that kind of night with my guard today. How much was it tonight just feeling like you felt like you had to do what, do whatever was necessary for you guys to have a chance? Uh, yeah, I mean, just feel like every game, we all got to do what's necessary. <clears throat> Each game may be different, especially when we, one of our main players are out. So got to be prepared for any role we may step into. Um, so I just try to tackle those challenges as best as I can. And I was able to make some shots tonight. Curious, so, you know, I know there were times that you were trying to get guys involved early that might have led to you over overpassing. How, how would you try to find that balance of, Find a guy, but then look for the ones. Yeah, uh, I think I had a turnover early in the game, trying to make an interior pass, and and I, I realize I've been doing that lately, trying to make interior passes when I'm already in my spots to shoot. Um, so some of them you just got to shoot them, and I think a couple of turnovers I had was in transition where we just I I, I should have slowed down a bit and waited for my teammates to set up. Uh, you know, so just I, I just, just wanted to be aggressive regardless of it all, and then play through anything and was able to uh, knock some shots down and loosen the defense up. I think we were just right there so many times. You know, they made big plays coming out of each timeout. They made they made threes, got fouled um, when we tried to close the gap. So we got to get them credit. That's what I was going to ask a really quick follow-up. You guys told me, I think that was in three. Like there, what do you feel like maybe after that, that didn't lead to the ball too much? I think they made a three, wide open three in the corner. I think Horford made a three in the corner, and that's always a backbreaker. Um, I think it was a miscommunication or maybe a switch, and we had to help, and then they swung, swung, and that's what this team could do to you. 39 threes, they get up 40 to 50 threes a night, you know, So and they stay home a lot on threes as well. So you got to uh, figure out where your shot's going to come from if you can't just catch and shoot, you know. So um, they got a solid strategy over there, and – it's one of those one of those um, strategies where it might be you might be playing they might be playing a bad game early on, but as the course of the game it'll come back around for them. And I think that's what happened. And you know, late in the game, they was able to make some shots. Yeah, I mean, when our shooters can get up uh, six for Roy, seven for me, four for Grayson. I mean, which Grayson we could, we'd have got Grayson more looks. Um, Five for Brad, three for D-Rod. I mean, we could, we definitely could get up 10 more, 11 more threes up. I think I, that one I turned over at the end when Jalen Brown knocked it out of my hand, I probably should have shot a three there. Um, but I like the, I like some of the looks that we got. I mean, that's just kind of like the number. I'm sure every team is emphasizing that. It's hard to get that many threes up. You got to get stops for one, and you got to get out and transition as well to get them up. And you got to penetrate, break the paint, you know. So it's tough to get 43s up. But, like, you look at the numbers of most of the good teams or any team that wins on any given night, they usually get up a lot of threes. The cross matching isn't something you're going to see every night, but how would you assess the game? Yeah, I mean, we shot 50% from the field. Um, I think we slowed down and uh, – uh, try to find out what our matchup was and attack that way. And we was able to get some good looks. We had 14 turns, but I had six of them. So everybody else is pretty good. Um, we forced them to 12 turnovers. So I don't really think the turnovers killed us as much. Mm. But they made six more threes than us and out-rebounded us. Well, not by not that many. I mean, I think the three-point lines really would beat us. Yeah, I mean, another guy that can create for himself and create for others and <clears throat> um, phenomenal leader, somebody that we look to all game, you know, so I'm excited to get him back, you know, but we definitely don't want to rush him back because it's an important part of the season and we need him healthy as possible. So, you know, if we could buy a couple more hours, a couple more days for him to get right, you know, we would definitely uh, – could do that, but we 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 miss him out on the floor. Kevin, you, you got these guys again next week, and I think the second hardest remaining schedule by win percentage. Like, how can 
games like these and things like that, the best of the way to kind of show you up for the for the playoffs. Yeah, I mean it's good tune up for us when you're playing against teams that you're gonna see in those uh in the playoffs, you know, and and they're gonna play with high intensity every night. So uh it's good for us to get that warm up before playoffs, you know. So um I would want to any other way as far as grinding against teams that are fighting for spots, and I think the games would be better. Thanks, man. Thank you, <laughs>